right, so this is my homemade fire alarm panel that I built myself. Uh, here is my spare key I have in there. This is the panel. I kind of based it off of the appearance on the outside as a Simplex 4010. As you can see, I've even got this black stripe key lock and this little label it has here. And I'll show you the devices later, but you can kind of see the pull station because it's right here. So if we open up the panel, kind of, this is a nice, this is plastic here. It's just like, I think, packing tape. Here's basically some where I have my wiring. I have it brought down, so it kind of, this door is annoying. It just like, Springs back. I'm gonna fix that sometime. I'll put like a maybe like something there, but I'll just hold it. These are my wires connections. This goes to the pull station, and these go to the alarms. I kind of labeled it with like a zone and knack. And here's basically the main circuit board. I wired it myself. So we have a power on off. So turn the power off. Turn it on. This switch is not being used. I'm thinking of making this, um, having this panel wired up as also part of a security system that I'll make. So I'll have maybe like a button that you push or something like that, and then this turns it on and off. And then it'll have a probably like an empty, a uh, horn only empty set on like a, a siren tone or a high low, something like that, or maybe a march time horn. I don't know. This is a silent switch for the fire alarm system. So you flip it up, silences it, and this is a drill switch. So if you flip this, it basically acts as a drill switch, and you can activate all the alarms without pulling a pull station. And let's say there's brake rods on all the pull stations, and you have a 270 SPO in all of them with a brake rod. And let's say you don't feel like pulling it because uh, you don't want to pull it, just flip it up and it'll activate the alarm. So, so I have my Simplex 2099-9754 as a pull station and this is kind of homemade conduit here, it's paper. I just pull it in. Going up to a back box, single game back box, I have my Gentex Commander 3 is set on I think low volume uh, mechanical horn, the full station, and the panel. And that's the power source, 24 volts DC, because that runs on 20, well 18, I think it's 18 to 24, 18 to 36 volts DC. Uh, well anyways, let's test it finally. In three, two, one. silence because um, I don't think I can hook that up. So I'm gonna take the key out, set the pull station, and I do have a zone one sticker on there because when I add extra zones to it, well I add extra zones, um, and then I'm gonna know which is wired up to what? This is a button. And there's the model number. 2099-9754. There we go. And let's reset the panel. Well, unsilence it at least. And we'll activate it two more times. The second one is key activating it, and the third will be using the drill switch, or using the drill function, although it is technically a drill switch. Here we go. Let's key activate it. Right. And let's 
you just need drill. And to put this uh, board up here, I don't have it on a back box. As you can kind of see, there's no back box, it's just the switch. So I just have a piece, two pieces of wood going by, and it's screwed in. Well, four screws, well, two on each side. Anyways, let's uh, activate it again using the drill. I just turned it off. And I did forget to mention that the uh, Commander 3 is on 15 Candela. For low volume, it's kind of loud. Well, I guess it's supposed to be loud. Anyways, was a new system test one of my homemade fire alarm system. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, see you in the next system test or next video.